The motto of Solver Lads Club is to brighten young lives and make good citizens. And it's still true today. The kids round here need, needed somewhere to go. No, no children are born bad. It's grown-ups that make them evil. Um, I don't know. I'll be sat at home, bored, you know, or knocking about on the streets if I didn't come to Lads Club. Who's in these clubs? Think they'll fit me? You think they'll fit me? Well, yeah, I should, you know. Generally, I look after the. I like meeting the kids and see what they're doing, you know, and uh, if I can, if they ask me advice, I like to be able to give them advice. I sometimes give them advice without asking them asking for it, but that's another matter. I started volunteering for the club about 40 years ago, and I started searching the uh, archives. I found out that my grandfather was a member of the club. Uh, he was killed in the First World War, and his name's on the war memorial downstairs. James Ball would be my granddad's brother. Anthony Ball is my son, Anthony. Uh, that's me. You know, I've got my grandfather's brother, James Ball, Frederick Ball. My dad is James Ball, and his brother Lewis, and me and my son on there. Uh, and I've not, I've not sponsored anybody's name yet either. <laughs> Yeah, it's important that I'm part of history because um, I'm now a household name in this club. That's set in stone and that's not going to leave me forever. Hey James, how are you mate? Good. Yeah. What are we doing tonight? The club was built in early 1900s and uh, it was built by these two brothers, James Gumbel Groves and William Gumbel Groves. They built the club to stop gang fighting, lads getting into gangs and fighting one another, getting into trouble with the police. And it's still true today, we're still trying to do that as well today. At the time, there was gangs going around Manchester and Salford called Scuttlers, Scuttler gangs. And they had a distinctive uniform like uh, heavy hobnail boots, uh, broad leather belts, and they all they, they seem to wear scarves like the um, Burberry scarf, something like that, like a Scotch plaid. Anyway, it was, it, that's why they formed the club. I had to, to do boxing. And that's just that's when I started to look at the club and get the feel for it. Yeah. So boxing was my main thing, and boxing is what I stuck to all these years. Boxing is a great way to uh, for kids who have anger issues or kids who get in trouble on the street to come in and let their anger out on somewhere else. So if you have a mental health issue like anxiety or you know depression, it's a good choice to kind of get all that kind of stress out onto the bag and punch the bag and just get all of that out. Thankfully, since lockdown finished and we've got back into bringing the, the boys into, into the club and the girls, we've got a lot more volunteers, younger and more, more in tune with the, the young kids. So there's a volunteer called Brian Ball. He gives you that kind of... Um, he tells you stuff, how to act in a way that you wouldn't know as a teenager and he kind of brings you up with more respect and more manners. There's, there's a rise in like mental health and there's a rise in like kids just knocking about on the street and 
I feel like if this club wasn't here, Salford would rise rapidly in them cases. We want to make you know, kids with disabilities lifestyles better. We want to get them uh, supported. We want to get kids um, who are having trouble at home supported. We want to get kids who are knocking about on the street, teenagers supported. We want to get kids with mental health issues supported. And that's what we come here to do. We're going nowhere. We, we can like, run this club 24-7 and as long as the kids are happy and off the streets, that's it. That's all we matter. That's all we care about. Let me go.